difficult life. Not a fair life. Life is fair, but it does have to be difficult. Secondly, we are called to obedience, not revenge. We are called to obedience, not revenge. There is, uh, this is such an amazing example that we get from Joseph. Joseph had every reason in the world to complain and to lash out. Everything had gone wrong. Who, who would blame him for, for his complaining? I certainly wouldn't have. I would have agreed with him. In fact, I could complain for him. It just wasn't fair. But every time Joseph got knocked down, look what he did. He just got back up and went back to serving and obeying the Lord in spite of the circumstances. Now, would he have liked things to have been better? I would imagine so. He was human. Of course he would have. But listen to this. His life was not defined by his circumstances. His life was defined by his calling. His life was not defined by his circumstances. It was defined by his calling. Your life is not defined by your circumstances. It's defined by your calling. What it is that God wants to accomplish in and through your life. That's what defines what God wants. And that's what defines your life. Not the circumstances, the calling. Your life can be very dark and stormy, but you are still to obey God. Psalm 119, verses 55 through 60. Look at this. In the night, and that means in the darkness, in those difficult times of my life. In the night, I remember your name, O Lord. I will keep your law. This has been my practice. I obey your precepts. You are my portion, O Lord. I have promised to obey your words. I have sought your face with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes. I will hasten and not delay to obey your commands. Now, I want you to see something really important about this passage. This passage all centers, all hinges on verse 57 where it says, You are my portion, O Lord. Once you understand that portion, what that word means, then everything else begins to take on this whole new fresh dynamic meaning. The word portion is the word chelek, and it is a word that means to partake uh, by choice. To partake of by choice. And uh, it's, it's like, uh, it's like uh, there's a piece of pie, and there's, uh, there's all that. You partake. You take that piece of pie. That's your choice. You've taken that, that piece. And that's the idea of the word. In other words, I've chosen you, O oh God. I've chosen your ways. I've made my choice. I don't choose to let the suffering and pain rule my life. I choose you. I choose to obey you because my life is not determined by my circumstances. It's defined by my calling. Your calling is to be obedient to God as a child of God. Your calling is to be obedient to God. Your life is not defined by your circumstances. It's defined by your calling. Now, sometimes we suffer from our own sin. Certainly, sometimes we are the victim of our own sinfulness. And how do you deal with that? We are our own victims sometimes. But God, even then, God is ready to forgive and to move on and through your life. God does want to move in your life. He does want to move through your life in spite of some of the things that you've done and how you seem to have have rebelled against God. He used the prophet Samuel to say that very thing to his people after they had sinned against him. God spoke to, them, to, through, to Samuel and through Samuel, and this is what he said to a sinful people. He said in 1 Samuel 12, 20, don't be afraid, Samuel replied, you have done all this evil, yet do not turn away from the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. What he was saying was, look, you've messed up. You've really blown it. You violated God's standards for your life. In some of your cases, it's been a horrible violation of God's standards of what God wanted. In some cases, it's just, you know, just the little stuff that you've just kind of strayed away from God. You've walked away and you've, you've, been, you've just been kind of walking a different path. And God says, look, I understand that and I know that. Don't be afraid I've done, uh, that you've done this evil. Don't, but don't turn away from the Lord. In fact... Serve the Lord with all your heart. What he's saying is get back on the path. Yes, you've walked off the path, but it's time to get back on the path and to serve the Lord. Because your life isn't determined by your circumstances. It's defined by your calling. You are called to obedience.